Welcome everyone. Happy Monday. It's April 20th. It's a beautiful day outside. It's crazy hair week. I got my unicorn going. So, Mr. Jesus changed his beard. I sacrificed part of my beard. For you. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you like it. The Taekwondo King. <laughs> so, but welcome everyone. I know last Friday, uh, Master Burns, he had an awesome XMA a video and Zoom class. And I'm super excited that a lot of us we're going to tune in. Um, someone's loved it and they want to make it harder and harder and harder, which is great. Some of us were a little confused on it. I know I got tripped up on one or two things. Um, so I want to take this time to kind of break it down and practice in little sections. Because in life, if you have this big thing, like 100 push ups, that's a lot. But if you take it and break it down 10, 10, 10, 10, it's a lot easier. So we're going to break it down in different levels. Okay. And also, there's a quick kind of highlight for next session. Next session is going to be our awesome closed hand forms. We're going to be doing a lot of those fun things for next session with communication. So re really fast, repeat after me. Say communication. Communication is. Is the link. The link. Between the world, the world and me. And me. Okay, so communication is how you link to our world and me. First is look, listen, talk, and then lead. If you notice, look was first. Always make eye contact. Then listen clearly what everyone has to say fully. Then talk. Okay, don't flip it. I know a lot of people want to talk. Then look, then listen, and then lead. You want to look, listen, talk, lead. Okay, so but we're gonna talk more about that in the next session. But today, let's get a quick warm up. But let's first balance. Face us ready. Cheer. Sir. Kanye. ATA. Awesome job. Really fast. Take your hands and start moving them. And Sir. Get your feet have a nice base and just circle, circle, circle. Go. That's it. So we're getting our bodies moving. Get our awesome. Oh, now go backwards. Whoosh. Sir. Backwards, backwards. Okay, now take Chris. Shing, shing. Awesome. Okay, now like super big. Like you're running, running. Okay, time. So now the next one is gonna be a fun one, but it's gonna be a definitely a hard one. Okay, so you're gonna put your hands on your hips. Sir. You're gonna make a long front stance, but the front stance we're gonna do is not forwards like our traditional like taekwondo. We're going at an angle slightly, so our knees and feet are facing this 45 degrees and we're flat as a pancake. Like imagine sparring this way, but we're facing towards you. Put your hips and from here you just go twist your hips. You're gonna do 25 of these. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep on going. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Five more, one, two, three, four, five. Five. Awesome job. So in extreme martial arts, you have a lot of these stances, a lot of front stances, but also in your traditional, okay? So the extreme martial arts, XMA, is taking your traditional, what you know ready, and making that big, that extreme, okay? Awesome. So let's get started. The hand combo that Master Burns did was you found it. Whoa. All right, you step out, hush, hush. And from here, circle up, circle down. And from here, this is where we present. This is where we communicate to everyone clearly and loudly. So we are, we are Team K A. Team K A. Boom. If you are at home, you can even say your name. So here we are, and you can say your name. We're presenting from Cryland Marietta. My name is. So you present. Okay. I'm going to show you the full form, and we're going to break it down. So if you know the form, you have loved it, and you had fun with it, you could do it at home right now. Okay. From so here, you can step out. Hush, don't hush, hush. Hush. Boom, that is the full form. So if you got it, when Master Burns is doing it, you can start practicing. Try to add your own little twist. If not, let's practice it together. So first section. Real quick, you guys notice, he didn't travel very far from where he started. It all took place in the same, you know, little area, okay? So this is something you can do. You can make it go down the floor, take up a lot of space, but something you can do in a small area. We're outside in the kind of the, the backyard out here because it's a beautiful day. But you can do, this is something you can do in your basement, garage, living rooms. Obviously, be careful of your surroundings. Uh, having some nice padded grass is always good. It's, you know, soft if you slip or fall. But obviously, if you're on hardwood, take your socks off. Yes. Okay. I had to do this with a private lesson earlier today. You might go slipping and sliding, ice skating. So be careful. You need to be able to grip the ground and have a great base before you begin this, okay? Go ahead, sir. Thank you, sir. So in this form, there's a lot of different things going on. We're, we, I have broken it down to six things, six different steps. So it's a lot easier. So we take it step by step by step. And you can pause this video at any time and drill it some more on your own if you're a little confused or like I want some more practice. Okay, so first thing is the presentation. So let's run. Stand up. 
sir. Kanye. Okay. okay. For the extreme side, it, forward, there's an awesome, but we want to set that angle. We want to give it depth, have some steps. So you're going to take this foot, step, step at an angle, cross your hands, and you're going to turn be almost kind of like song on one. If you remember, back to white belts. From here, I want you to scream, go hush, hush. From here, that circle we did in the beginning, that warm up, you're going to circle X. Okay. Because we're talking about the extreme martial arts, we always want to have a cool flash, cool flare. Okay. From here, you're going to circle in, like Black Panther, Wakanda forever, and down. And this is where we present. This is where the form starts naturally. If it's your form and you're creating by yourself, you could do anything you want. You could circle up and then out or something else. In the form of Master Burns, he circled up and then down and he started here. Okay. Ready? And from here, this is where we present. Okay. Sure. Let's try one more time a little slower. So we're here. Hush. From here, you're going to circle up. Make that X. Go in like you're doing the Wakanda forever. And then down. Oh, sorry. This is close. Good. Let's go a little faster now. Try here. So circle up, down. Boom. And when you do the flex, all your muscles, you want to look big and strong just like Superhero Week last week. Okay, one more time. Fast. This time with sound effects. Use your loud voice. Communicate. Okay, ready, set, go. We are Team K.A. Boom. Okay, section one. So, if you want to practice some more, you can pause the video now and drill some more. Okay, section two, the next step. This is the very first hand combo. Let's do it together, face the front, and we'll apply it into the form. So, we're going to do a lot of the blocks we did as white belts. Okay, so the first one facing me, I'm going to say low block. Low block. I'm going to say punch. Punch. Now I'll go high block. High block. Punch. Okay, when you do these combos, you want to kind of get different levels. If I just do pop, 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 it's just all the same. We want to try different levels. So once again, we say low block, low block, punch, punch, punch. high block, high block, punch. punch. And if you notice, we're not like big hook, block, aim, punch. We're ba, ha, ha. We do like a black belt level. So all the combos, this is a great challenge for you to start rotating your shoulder practice. So once again, fast, ready, set, go. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Okay, one more time. Let's add our stand stuff to this. Ready, go. Bah, 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 bah. Now let's add our awesome stance. So make your awesome front stance. Make it big. Make it strong. Communicate to us that you look sharp. You are a leader. Now we're talking about that look aspect. So now we're looking at you. Show us that communication of looking strong. Sure. So from here, big hug. You can go low block. Bunch. High. Bunch. Oh. Good. Now I'm going to challenge you some more. If you want to challenge, raise your hands. Yes, sir. Good. So the challenge is you can move your feet. All right. So you're going to start away. Go low block. You're going to switch on the punches. So switch, punch. Switch high. Switch, punch. Boom. Was that easy? <laughs> I know it's a little complicated with the switching, but let's take it slower. So face away. Then low block. Punch. High. Punch. Good. Remember, always yell. You can yell anytime you want. Make different sound effects. Make it cool. Make it awesome. Okay, this time let's go a little faster. Okay, but this time let's start here. So when I say go this time, you're gonna step. If you notice I'm facing this way, I'm gonna step backwards. We'll go low block, punch, high block, punch. Oh, okay, start here. Ready, section two. Ready, go. Low, punch, high, punch. Good, reset. One more time. Now when I say go, you're just gonna do your whole combo, hold the last move. Ready, go! Ba, 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 ba. That is it. That was section two. So once again, if you want to pause the video right now, drill that some more. That's a combo that's super tricky. When I first did it, I kept doing low block, punch, punch, punch. I'm like, whoa, I forgot something. <laughs> so if you want to pause it because you're going different levels, it's a great way to practice. Okay, the next one, section three, not section two. Section three is an awesome dance move. Who likes dancing? <laughs> it's a dance move. So really take your feet and crisscross your feet. Okay, so you're going to crisscross and you switch feet every time. Crisscross. That's it. Here, keep on going. Keep on going. Faster, 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 faster. And time. Okay, this time you're going to take this foot, you're going to criss in front, and you're going to make an awesome spin. Woo! Oh, that's it. Once again, ready? Criss. Spin. Good. That was super easy. See? That's fun. Okay, ready? One more time. Ready, Chris. Okay, we're gonna add one move to this section three. Okay, so you're gonna stand here. Once you Chris, I want you to go low block. This can be hand, foot, timing, 
putting it together. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna jump, bah! From here, spin out. Oh, that's it. Okay, one more time. You'll notice, team, as well, this foot crosses in front. So when he does that, he's already starting that turn. Just finish the turn. Okay. Yep. All right. It's kind of like the song on three, round kick, side kick. Instead of round kicking. Song on four. Song on three, not side kick. Wah! Come on, section three, song on four. Instead of kicking, you're just gonna place it in front. Of it's very similar out. pivot to song on four. Okay. Okay, now that's section three. Let's do one time faster, we're gonna move on to section four. So ready, start here, start in the neutral position. Ready, section three, ready, go. Wah, bah, wah, wah. Oh, that's it. Okay, section three. So now section four. Next section is a hand combo again. So we started the hands, we had a cool transition. We're gonna do one more hand combo, okay? The hand combo is a little different. It's pretty advanced. This is a, like second, third degree level. So this is great to challenge everyone to add different variations of moves. So now once again, make your awesome front stance. Sir. Okay, ready, big hug, chop. So the knife hand strike in XMA for a short term, because knife hand strike is really big, we say chop, like chop, chop, chop. Same to top off. So chop. Then we do punch. We're gonna take this hand. You're gonna heal the inside of your hand that you're hooking. It's called ridge hand. So it's ridge, chop, back out, punch. Okay. So it's a lot of back and forth movements. Once again, chop. Lead hand. Punch. Back hand. Ridge in, back out, punch. Good. This is two hits. Bop, bop. hand strike, knife hand strike. And then punch. And then back to it. So there's like five moves in here. One, two, three, four, five. Five total gram moves. But it's really fluid because it's moving with everything. So once again, let's do it together slowly. Ready? Chop, punch, ridge, chop, punch. Oh, let's go faster. I know you can do it. Ready? Go, chop, punch, ridge, chop, punch. Oh, one more time. Ready? Go, chop, punch, ridge, chop, punch. Ready? Oh. Go. Last time, best time. Ready? Go! Hush, jo, hush, jo. Hey, oh. Good. So now that's the hand combo. We're gonna add the stances in this time. Once again, remember the first time we were switching out the punch? Very similar. Okay, so now you're gonna face away Sir. to this side. You're gonna chop. Okay, switch on the punch. You're gonna switch, chop, punch. So that, ba, ba, ba. So if you notice, I'm um, switching on my ridge, I'm turning. That ridge has helped me rotate. I'm gonna go back, out, Sir. and switch back on my punch, okay? So let's start from the beginning, okay? So start your front stance facing this way. Once again, if you notice, I'm switching on my punches. So the trick is switch on your punches. <laughs> so chop, punch, switch. Ridge, chop, switch, punch. That's it. Let's go a little faster. Ready? So face away. Sir. Ready? Five moves. Ready? Go. Chop. Punch. Ridge. Chop. Good. Last time with the switches. And that's section four. Ready? Set. Go. Chop. Punch. Ridge. Chop. Good. So that is the fourth section. So section five. Once again, if you need to pause any time in the video, you're more long to pause and drill something more and more and more because they're getting tricky and trickier. Okay. So the next one. We're gonna use our awesome high block and our awesome merge together to make a transition. So once, say hello, sir. Hello, say sir. high block. High block. Say hello, sir. This hand's gonna do a ridge. Okay. So if you're an advanced student, this is almost kind of like a square block. This is called the knife hand square block. It's very close. Instead of blocking here, you're going in. Okay. And this hand's gonna help us spin in a few seconds. That's show you how it's done. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna say high block. High block. Take this hand, ridge. Ridge. Okay. And that's gonna go into our spin. So if you remember from the very time, first time I did the form, all right, you're here at the punch, you're gonna take this punch hand, you're gonna go high block, and then nose my stance is gonna switch in. Good, so once again, go to that punch, we're gonna go high block, high block, and boom, boom, all right, boom, that's it. If you can take it part by part, that's awesome. That's like level one for that combo. If you can do faster after you go punch, you're gonna do it at the same time. Okay, so if you can piece it together, it's fantastic. If not, you could do one, two, that's totally fine, or do it together. If you notice, um, high blocking and ridging at the same time. Okay, so that is section five. Super fun, that's a lot of, it's a cool move, that's a higher rank uh, move for our form, all right? Section, that's 
That was four, that's like six. Woo, my brain's going everywhere today. <laughs> all right, if you notice I'm here, all right, we're gonna do a spin, all right. My instructor used to say like, you're delivering pizza. Imagine this hand has pizza, all right. You're gonna spin, imagine, I'm not sure, like pizza spin, I guess it's called, <laughs> but you're gonna take this hand leave it here. This high block is gonna rotate over, spin, and you're gonna come together, all right. So practice that, so go here, take this hand, Go over, grab your pizza, grab your pizza, and then spin through. Right, if you notice, my feet come together for that much, for that, for that part. If my feet are apart, when I do this one, it's super hard. My feet get twisted for that one. For this one, I want my feet together, and then spin out. Okay, one more time, and I'll show you the last move of the form. It's super cool. From here, take this hand, rotate out, spin. Whoa, start, stop here, and then take this back hand, and let's do a punch. Oh. All right. And the very last move, remember, once you finish, you want to have that loud yell, that super thing. So, you no know, one tells us that you're done, plus it hypes the crowd. So, you're here, and once you yell super loud, go, ayo! Boom, and from here, make an X. Let's finish the form like we started. Go down. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so I kind of blend the section six and seven together. Okay, so once again, go to that high block bridge hand. Go in, feet together. And then come out with that punch. Ooh. And then yell super loud. Aya! X down. Ayah. Good. And class, if you're thinking about the the directions, okay, we're facing Miss Dotson with the camera. So imagine we're facing the flags. Mm -hmm. We're facing the front of the class. We're gonna spin towards the clock. Yes. Okay. Which is how almost all these leadership exit may forms. We always spin towards right side forward. So towards the clock, and then straight towards the flags. Yep. Ah, like Feel that. So all these sections come together like puzzle pieces. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven together to make the full form. Okay, let's do our, try from the very, very top. Sure. From section one to the very end. So I know you guys know the sections now. Let's put it to work. Ready, two. Sir. Good day. It's you. Okay, you're gonna make an X. Remember, step out. Go, hush, hush, spin, hush. Hey, we are, we are, we are. TKA. Now go this way. First four moves, ready, go. Hush, go, hush, ay From here, next section, ready, go, switch, ay Spin, jab, punch, ridge, jab, punch, ay From here, next session, next section, ching, pizza spin, walk, ba, x, ay Boom, so that is all the sections together. All right, I know we broke it down, so if you need to take it step by step, that's totally fine. Now, since you know it, you can add your own twist. I know it's all hands, but I'm gonna challenge you at home. Now you know it. Add your own little twist with add some kicks to it. Have some fun. I know I love side kicks. So you can add your own little kicks, you can add something. This is a creative form. Okay, so Master Bards, he designed this form for everyone for Cry Atlanta. So you can take what he took and take it to the next level and add anything you want. You can add moves from your own form. Just have fun and have a blast with it. <laughs> Anything else you want to add, sir? Yes, sir. Um, for sure, you know, the best way for any form, whether it's Sanam 1, Sanam 4, Chung Jung 1, this open hand leadership form, you know, the best way is to, again, break it down into sections or a combo and just drill that. Um, that's it's, So it's just a creative or extreme version of a traditional material. Uh, so we have different angles to it. But have fun. Uh, the next session, like he said at the beginning, Mr. Krawski said, we're doing a closed hand routine, which is very different, more kind of... Uh, combative MMA kind of look as far as the combos we're gonna add uh, flying knee Superman elbow so stuff we've never done before in leadership we're gonna do that um, a so that it's new stuff and it's fun B these are close quarters techniques that are really fun to work on even if you have a small space at home uh, we can practice these safely and work on some different new techniques all right so that's gonna be next session for May June close hand that's gonna be very um, very fun very different very cool working on some of our more hands and still some some really cool kicks in there as well. So that'll be starting in uh, after testing, okay? Awesome, uh, let's battle out. If you design your own form or you wanna show us this form that you just did by yourself, we would love to see it. You can shoot us a video on Facebook. You can email us any way if you want to get it to us. We will love to see it. We love this stuff. We wanna see you grow and develop. And we, you, we can even post it on our Facebook page so everyone yeah. can see, oh, here, here, here they are. They So-and-so made their own form or added to Mr. Chapowski's form, okay? That'd be really great to see. Awesome. Face here, right? Sure. Sure. Good day. Awesome job.